the following would be what would be considered a decay problem. And that's because the value is going down instead of up. Um, and it's the same formula we use for growth, except that instead of adding the rate, so instead of plus r, we subtract r, which makes sense because you're going below the value of 1, you're going, you know, instead of above the value of 1. Well, um, C still is the same. What do you start with? So in this case, your car, you, you, you spent $15,000 on the car, so we assume that's what the, the value was of it when, you, when, you, when it started. Hopefully you didn't way overpay for it or anything. Um, and then it tells you that your car is going to depreciate 15%. Well, that's the same as 0.15, and then it's, we're asking what's the ca case going to be in four years, so that's always our time. So we put 15,000 in for C, we put 0.15 in for R, and we put 4 in for T. So to do this, you've got to do 1 minus 0.15 first. And that's just going to be 0.85. Now you have to, by order of operations, you've got to do the power exponents before multiplication. So multiply, do 0.85 to the fourth power on your calculator. Uh, this is the time when you have to use your calculator. Doing 0.85 to the fourth, it takes forever by hand. Um, and that's going to be, and then we'll just put a pro approximate value here. Um, and it's approximately 0.522. Um, uh, on some of these you're going to have to estimate or just do it all in your calculator. So now we multiply 15,000 times 0.522 and we get that uh, the value is $7,830 and then approximately you know around nine cents. I mean we don't have to be too exact on these. Uh, we can, you can deal with rounding however. So, so that's your value uh, which means your car lost a lot of value in just four years. It went down from 15,000 to 7,800 uh, which is a lot of value in a short period of time.